Hi, welcome to this quick fix segment about game animation with Unity. In this video podcast, I would like to address some issues that are being faced by some of you when working on this tutorial. Personally, I have seen some of you are experiencing some difficulties with the collider in Unity, where the default pure point of your character mesh is not coincide with the assigned collider. To troubleshoot this issue, first, you will need to ensure the pivot point of your character mesh is being set to the origin before exporting it into the FBX format. And don't forget to weight your character skin weight along with the interactive skin by method. So as long as everything is being set up properly, Unity will be able to recognize and register the default pivot point of your character. And to demonstrate how the colliders will work, I will need to create a polygonal plane. Okay, as you can see, nothing will be happened during the runtime as we haven't set up any events. And if the pivot point of your characters is still not in the exact location as what you have defined in Maya, then you ought to toggle the default pivot point settings in Unity from center to pivot. Only then we assign the component of rigid body to our character. And as a quick test, just set the mass to about 200 and leave the remaining parameters as default. Then hit the play button. And you shall see the character is falling through the plane as the gravity field is at play. We will need to set up a collider for the character and let's do it by adding a capsule collider. To see how a collider works, let's leave the parameters as default and hit the play button. You shall see the character is no longer falling through the plane as it is being bind with the collider. Next, let's stop the runtime and resize the capsule collider to fit with the character. And by having the capsule collider to end capsule of a character, let's hit the play button again. You will notice our character would now standing nicely and exactly on top of the polygonal plane. Next, before we set up the state of idle, let's set up the rig to map with the mechanism animation system. Select the model via the inspector window. In rig, set the animation type to humanoid and create the avatar from this model. Then click on the configure button and simply save your scene. And as long all the joints are being mapped in green, just click done. Nothing should be happening when hit the play button. The character should be remaining still on top of the polygonal plane. This is because we have not created the animation controller yet. Let's create an animation controller via the project window. Simply rename the controller. Then assign it to the animator component. With everything in place, all you need to do is just drag the mocap data of idle, which we had gathered from the Unity store onto the animator's state machine. And by hitting the play button again, you should be able to have your character being successfully linked with the mocap data through the mechanism animation system. And I hope you would be able to continue to work on the second part of this tutorial. Thank you.